In this video, we are going to create this wonderful underwater text using AI-generated typography with Adobe's Firefly. We will then use Photoshop to prepare all the images and finally animate everything together in Adobe After Effects. We will then explore some subtle effects that you can add to your scene to make it look even more interesting and more professional. So let's get started. I am in Firefly and I'm going to tell it to generate an underwater scene with just water. And there we go, we have our first generation and we can see some examples in here. And once we are happy with it, we can simply download this file. So, and then this has a transparent background which we can apply directly to After Effects. Once that I am happy with the text and I have that downloaded, I can go to, back to Firefly and use the text to image feature in Firefly to generate images from text and I can ask it to give me some foreground elements that I can then later animate in After Effects to bring the scene all together. So let's do that. Search for a few bubbles spread out on a black background. This is so that we can cut it very easily once we are happy with this. Now we can download this or else we can even tweak it further right over here. So in this case, I am selecting the edge bubbles and selecting to remove them. Press remove and it will automatically remove them for you. And once, once you are happy, you can simply download. Great. So next I'm going to generate some more foreground elements. In this case, a tropical fish on a black background. So let's see what it creates. Perfect, I quite like these examples. So I'm simply going to download these. I'm going to download the three of these. Finally, we are going to ask it for some sandy sea vegetation on a black background. And I quite like this one in the corner here. So I'm simply going to download that and we can use that later on. Once you are happy with the images that you have generated using Firefly, now we can transfer these images to Photoshop to start cutting the backgrounds out. The process is fairly simple. I'm going to use the lasso tool to make a rough shape around the object, just like this. Once you are happy, simply click Layer via Copy to copy that, then select the background and delete that. And now we have that object roughly selected in the middle and there. Now using the Quick selection tool, we can select inside of our fish, inside of our object, and the Photoshop would select the edges automatically. And simply, if you'd like to add more parts, simply hold shift on your keyboard to add those parts. Make the same thing, layer via copy, and then remove the background. And once you are happy with that, you can save that as a PNG, and we can use that later on in After Effects. So once you are done with this image, you can do the same with the other images, exactly the same way. And once you are ready with those, we can import all of those into After Effects to start animating. And here we go. I'm going to start with the first one, which is C in here. Simply drag and drop it right over here. Perfect. And I am going to select each of these letters and basically put them in a separate composition so that I can animate them independently of each other. So it's very simple. Simply pick the, the rectangle tool in here and mask it just like that. Great. Now I can duplicate this, Command D on your keyboard, and I can select the selection tool in here and in this new layer, simply move this to the next letter, just like that. And do the same for this. Perfect. And now I can rename this if I want. So this I can remain, rename to S, this I can rename to E and A. And right click and go to pre-compose. And from here, we are going to rename this to S and move all attributes into the new composition and select OK. Great. And now we can center this, align this to the center, just like that. And for composition settings, we can reduce the size of this so the head fits correctly with the size of this letter. So let's say 600 by 600, and that should be good, perfect. So this is done, I am going to do the same with the other letters. Great, so I have all those letters separated into different compositions, and now we need to align them back, original place basically. So let's drag back this image in here so that we can align them with it. I'm going to make this press T on your keyboard to make the opacity very dim so that I can see properly. And now I can align this 
to match that. We can align them just like that. Perfect. So now we can remove this and we have this. So I am going to pre-compose one more time so that I have all of these in one single composition. So let's go to layer and go to pre-compose. And I am going to rename this to C comp. Perfect. Now I have this composition C comp which have this these letters in it. And now I can start animating. So the first thing that we can do is we can animate these letters in. I can of course go ahead and make a quick animation with this. So something like let's say a scale animation. So press S for scale and let's go to around one second in here. I'm going to keyframe those. Make sure that you have all the letters selected in here, keyframe them and I'm going to, to make another keyframe at the start now and set that to zero, just like that. Now let's select the keyframes right over here, hit a fine on your keyboard and that would easy ease those keyframes and select those and easy ease them as well by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now if we play that, we can see our letters forming just like that. Great. And what we can do is we can go to the graph editor, pick those three keyframes, go to the graph editor and if we zoom in a little bit in here, we can make sure that those last keyframes are selected and drag and drag that speed graph all the way to the left. And now we have this nice animation just like that. Another final thing that we can do is that we can offset these just a little bit. So if I offset this by a few frames, now you can see that forming like that. Perfect. So that's our animation. Of course, you can continue playing with this to make it even more animated. So let's go now to the main comp. I can start playing with this. So I can first scale all of this a little bit down and now I can start introducing the other assets. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this little fish in here and I'm going to scale this down just like this and I'm going to place it around here and I'm going to animate it from this side to this side. Great, so let's hit P on our keyboard, very simple, and go in here and it will take around, let's say, six seconds and we can animate that just like this. There's our fish. And to make this look even nicer, what we can do is we can go to TrackMet and set it to the C comp, just like that. And we can toggle back on the C comp right over there. And now we can see that fish being cut inside of those letters. Fantastic. Let's create now some bubbles. So let's drag them into a new composition, just like this. And I'm going to clean them these a little bit up in here so that I only use the bubbles that I would like to use. So I'm going to go around them with the mask tool, something around this and let's say like that and like that. Perfect. And now I have this selection of bubbles right over here. Now I'm going to go and bring in a curves effect and basically I'm going to add more contrast into this so that we can cut it up. So we are going to now add a new effect named Turbulent Displace. Let's drag it and drop it over those bubbles. And amount, we're just going to give it a 20 and size, let's make it a 200. And we are going now to animate the offset. So I would like them to appear like they are going up. I'm simply going to keyframe this. So let's go keyframe the offset from there. Go to the last frame in here and drag this all the way up. So like something like minus 10,000 maybe. And let's see how that looks. Wonderful. That looks quite good. And now if I go back to the main comp, and we can add these new bubbles. Great. And what we can do is we can change the transfer mode from normal to screen. And like that, we only have the bubbles. Very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and animate these to go up. So hit P on your keyboard and very simply animate them up. So over the course of 10 seconds, once again, just like that. Great, I love how that is looking. 
Now let's do the same thing for the other letters. So I'm simply going to command D on my keyboard to duplicate this a couple of times. Hit P on my keyboard to show the position properties of these. Hit P on this one as well. And I'm going to select both of these in here. Make sure I am on that last keyframe. Select both the position properties in here. And I can use this slider in here, slide on this number to slide them just like that. And now I just need to select this last one here and slide it just like that. Perfect. And to give it a bit of randomness, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the middle one in here, hit S on my keyboard to bring in the scale, and we are going to reverse the scale of the x-axis. So let's make it minus 50. And we can even scale it down a little bit. So maybe something like that. And this one we can scale up a little bit, just like that. Perfect. Great, we can offset them a little bit as well so that the animation is slightly different. And let's zoom in a little bit in here. That looks quite great. Perfect. So one final thing that we can do is duplicate the DC layer in here. So DC comp, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to select the turbulent displace effect once again and put it over that and even the amount make it 10 and this will give it some more some more character basically beautiful and uh, we can now use as a track mat use the first c comp layer 6 in here so that it is cut with that layer great so i like how this is looking we can of course add the other fish just exactly the same way that we have added this one. So let's do that. And for this fish, I'm going to make it minus 16. So with that tiny fish in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply duplicate this a couple of times, maybe three times. I'm going to set the scale of this to be something like two. And what I'm going to do, basically I'm going to make like a tiny baby fish. So I'm going to offset them by a few frames, just like that. And like this, they would move after each other after this fish. And let's see how that looks. So let's add another fish, exactly the same way. And for this fish, I am going to do the same thing in here to create the tiny fish. Brilliant. And I'm going to leave this fish on the outside since I think it creates a very cool atmospheric effect. Great. So now I'm going to add a background. So let's create a background layer new and we're going to create a new solid. Great. So now I'm going to add a gradient ramp and I'm going to leave the background quite satin. So I'm going to pick colors from this, from this logo, from this text. And let's make it quite dark, just like that. And I quite like the look of this, so I'm going to leave it like that. Wonderful. So let's see what else we can add. We can of course add that vegetation that we have. It's named seafloor. I'm going to drag and drop that into a new composition. And I am going to cut this with the mask tool, just like this. Something around here. Perfect. Position it a little bit downward, just like that bring in a curves effect and let's make this almost all white just like this and create a lot of contrast in here so the intention of this is to use the the luma method of this to, to cut these uh, this vegetation so now that this that is done i'm going to duplicate this command d on your keyboard Remove the curves effect from the first one, just like that. And for the track mat, I'm going to pick the first one, just like that. And I'm going to switch this to Luma mat. And now, as you can see, it is cut precisely with these. I'm going to add a similar effect that I did with the bubbles in here. So let's simply pick this turbulent displace effect, Control C in here. And I'm going to add this, but this time instead of over this layer, I'm going to add it to add an adjustment layer. So let's create a new layer, new 
adjustment layer and let's paste it right over there and like that we have this nice subtle wave in here that is happening now i'm going to go to each letter so this one and i'm going to bring that sea floor over each letter in here just like that reposition it make it smaller even maybe a little bit smaller great i just want it to be very subtle at the bottom of this letter and i'm going to click on this button the t button in here so that it shows up only on the layer underneath it and let's do the same thing in here to the other letters and a just like that perfect and of course you can play with this to go up or down how, how much you would like that and now let's see how that looks and like that we have that nice vegetation at the bottom just like that finally to make this even better we can add some subtle animations in here to make the scene more vibrant so to do this i'm going to use our tool in here mega motion and of course you can do this by hand but in this case this will come in very very handy so i am going to select the first fish in here and i'm going to go to my tool in here and you will find a link in the description to download a free version of this if you would like to try it out and i'm going to apply a position preset so let's go to the position preset and i'm going to apply this preset right over here very simple simply click on apply select your preset and click on apply and there we have our wiggle animation over that fish as you can see it is too much and the cool thing about this toolkit is that you can adjust these animations so we can go over the animation intensity and decrease, decrease that to something like for instance 1.5 and we can even make that animation longer so for instance the loop duration we can give it 10 seconds and like that it will be much more subtle as you can see and another great thing that we can do is that we can copy this animation preset so if we select that layer go to back to our mega motion tool and go to the customizer from here we can simply click on copy and like that we can copy that animation now we can select all the other fish and we can paste and this will paste those animations over all those fish and if we preview this in here we can see that the animation has been applied to the all the other fish in here and this looks very very cool so that's basically it guys of course you can generate even more words with this so we can generate different words and simply change the words in there for instance in here i can generate this word in firefly subscribe and no seriously if you like this tutorial please consider subscribing to our channel this would be really supporting us and you would be able to see all the future tutorials that we are going to create for you to explore different topics in after effects Thank you very much for watching.